Mary Beatrice Davidson Kenner first person to make sanitary pads. Mary Beatrice Davidson Kinner, May 17, 1912, 13 January 2006, was an African-American inventor known for promoting the artificial sanitary belt, but due to racism, her patent for this invention was withheld for more than three decades. She and her sisters Mildred Davidson and Austin Smith were born in Charlotte, South Carolina, four years before their young founder who sold board games and Sidney's son Nathaniel Davidson, who approved several products during his lifetime including stretchers and mobile ambulances. Mary Beatrice Davidson Kinner was inducted into the Discovery's World Hall of Fame as an African-American woman who founded the Sanitary Belt, the first of its kind to contain napkins and bags that protect against moisture. Kenner not only developed sanitary pads despite some misunderstandings about her invention but is now considered the woman who invented the first advanced versions of sanitary pads to protect women and girls around the world from various diseases. As one of the inventions of florists and inventors, a hygiene belt was developed to prevent menstrual bleeding in women's clothing. Mary Beatrice Davidson Kinner has developed many things that have improved the lives of women and people who need extra help. As an African-American founder, her notable inventions include a sanitary belt, a precursor to a maxi pad that served as a tray with a soft pedestrian bag, the washing machine on a shower screen, and a toilet roll holder, which ensures that loose ends of paper were always accessible. In 1957, Kenner saved enough money to apply for her first patent of expandable belt containing sanitary pads. Three years later, she revised her invention when she filed a patent for a hygienic belt that kept the blood from leaking out of the clothes. Mary invented a hygienic belt and a duffel bag that protected against moisture, but companies interested in non-stick maxi pads rejected the idea because she was a black woman. It would be another 30 years before Kinner accepted the patent and began production of the first generation of so-called sanitary towels and napkins. Kenner went on to establish and exercise five patents, more than any other black American woman in history. After Mary Beatrice Davidson authorized the first generation of what would later be called sanitary towels or napkins, companies sent representatives to speak to her. After the ownership of the belt and menstrual pad, companies interested in the invention discovered that Mary Kinner was black, and their interest disappeared. She built a hygiene belt in the 1920s, but it could not be used for 30 years due to the lack of interest from marketing companies when they found out it was black. Assistant curator Rebecca Raven explores during the birthday of American founder Mary Kinner's how her health and career including the introduction of hygiene belts, played an important and neglected role in the development of men's trail products. Among other things, women around the world do not live long without sanitary pads, so it is not surprising that black women developed them first.